Na wow, hey, my people, I come across this our sister's story about her see when she enter for Italy, whether not threat so, now it be me I don't know, and threat so Italy, she almost get her happy for her see when she enter. Now she come out to use her story to motivate other people. Now I come across and to bring her to her and make her still learn from it. My people, after watching this story, please kindly share with love and thumbs up. Bye-bye for now. Hi guys, so let me quickly tell you what happened to me in Trento, Italy. So in case if you live in Trento, Italy, please be careful. When I may be careful of your taxi, I'm talking about your taxi. I'm not talking about anything, your particular your taxi. Please be careful. And I beg everybody in the world, if you are going to take taxi, please be careful. Pray or just be careful. Do anything possible. Please be careful. Because what happened to me was a like, few months ago, my girlfriend lost her brother. So a uh, uh, family called me from Nigeria, begging me to go meet her so that before they deliver the message to her, they didn't want her to be alone because she was at work. So when they told me, it was already late in the evening, as they told me to go, so I went. Uh, I took the train from my city to Trento, which is almost an hour, an hour plus. So when I got to the place, I don't know where my girlfriend walked. I have the address, but I don't know how to get there. So I took the taxi. When I got to the train station, I came out of the train station. People that live in Trento, they know what I'm talking about. They taxi, they're always at the front of the train station. So I went to the one that was available. I booked him. And then I showed him the address and he told me it was a uh, pure menu. It was going to be 50 euro or 40 euro. So I said, no problem, we should go. But the moment I entered inside the taxi, this man just started making call. Like he was, you know, that just immediately he was calling him, Marco Papa. So I just assumed it was his father, no? So when we were going, he was talking to this man and he was, they were speaking dialect, though. So I, know, I don't really understand what they were saying, but I can just speak one or two. Thank God I speak and understand Italian. So when we were going, I saw that the man was driving extremely slow. Not that the car, he was the one driving slow. We were just like few minutes, two minutes from the uh, uh, train station, or let's just say five minutes. Let's not just lie. Let's just say five minutes from the train station. So when he, he started complaining to his father that the car is not working fine, the car is jerking, and then he's going to the mountain, the car is not working fine, and blah, blah, blah. So when I heard this, I knocked at the glass and I told him, look, if the car is not working, why don't you just stop here and call your taxi company so that they can come and pick us or just go back to the train station and you can give, I can take another taxi. This man will not listen to me. He was, he just keep uh, talking to his father and keep driving very slow. And then we got to a point, like after like, I keep talking to him, he won't respond to me. After some minutes, he told me that he was going to, he was driving, like I can see that he was moving away from the map. So I told him, like, hey, why are you moving away from the map? Where are you going to? He said, he did, look, this is what he told He said he was taking me to his house. That his father is a mechanic, his taxi is having problems, so he wants to go to his house and change to his personal car to take me to where I'm going to. So, because the man, I was speaking Italian, so bless God that I understand and I speak Italian. Maybe the man thought I don't speak or understand as I was black. He just think I was a fool. So, when he said that I can understand him and I can speak, I can express myself, that was where the problem started. So, you can see that he was surprised that I can speak and understand. So, I started asking him that, where are you taking me to? He said he was going to his house. He wants to change the car. His car was like, this car doesn't have problem. This car has problem. Like, every other time, stop the car and call your company. They will send another taxi in Immediately, this man will not do that. He will not call the taxi company. There was other taxi passing by. One taxi even stop and ask him, call him on the phone. We, when they saw that the car, like we were like, maybe they saw we argue inside the car. They stopped, they pa I called him, like, what's happening? This man told them everything was okay, no problem. I was, I was like, I was freaking out. I was scared. Like, Where are you taking me to? So the man was just driving away. So I started screaming. I started like arguing. Then when I saw he wasn't listening to me, so I took my phone and then I started calling my friends. I started explaining to them, you know, speaking Italian, describing the man, describing the taxi, describing where we're going to, the address, any any sign I see, I would just tell them this is the sign. No, this is what the uh, the post said. This is the. So when the man saw that I was implicating him. He stopped on one one uh, like very strange road. He stopped there and he was like, hey, why are you doing this? My house is not your far. Where you are going to is far. Let me just change my car. I'm like, why would you change your car? There is no way that said any law that said a taxi can go and change his personal car. I will not follow you to your house. This is like strange. This is bad. Call a taxi company. They will bring taxi. Or oh, stop me and let me just... This man was like we we're arguing and later I don't know it was I mean why all this why this man was on call with his father like he will not end the call he will not call the company 
And then he started telling his father, like speaking the alert to, I don't know what he was saying. After some minutes, I saw that his father, like after 10 to 20 minutes, his father came uh, with his car. And when the man came, came with one red small car, unregistered, not another taxi car, just normal private car. The man came and he was like, oh yeah, follow me, follow me, follow me, let me take you to where you are going to. So that was when I started screaming, like, wait, do you, you people want to kill me? What is this nonsense? Why would I follow you on registered car? I took taxi from the train station. Now you want me to follow you, the father, not even the son, you, the father, on registered car. I started, I started telling the mother, do you think I'm stupid? Look, I grew up here, so I'm not stupid. You, ca I cannot follow you. Wait, one, you are not registered. You are not under the taxi company. Two, this car that you brought is unregistered. Then why do you expect me to follow you? But like, don't worry. I will take you to wherever you are going to, no problem. So I started screaming. I said, God forbid, I will not follow you. I was like arguing. Then I took my phone. I swear, my back this time, my phone was almost, my phone was off. So I started lying. I started like taking my phone. I said, I want to call the police. Both of them started freaking out. No, 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 don't worry, don't worry. And then the son be like, okay, see, if you don't want to follow my father, you follow me, you follow me. So I tell me, if I don't follow your father, I will not also follow you guys. There is something wrong with both of you. I don't understand what you are doing. All you have to do was just call the taxi company. And they will come. Now you don't want to call taxi company. And I'm stopped because I cannot call police. I cannot I'm not calling the taxi because my phone was off. So at this time, I swear I was very scared in my head. I was praying to God that please, I don't want to die today. Like my girlfriend just lost her brother. I was supposed to go and deliver the message to her, and now me, I'm going to die today. Like I was scared. You can see that these people, this is not their first time. They were up to something bad. So why I was uh, freaking out, but I was just maintaining my face. I was maintaining my courage. I was trying to pretend everything was okay. And then later. Uh, when the both of them both of them saw that I was arguing, I refused to follow them. And then I I was taking taking my phone, pretending I was taking pictures of their plates numbers. And then both of them started speaking their letter later. They told me that hey, okay, they have called taxi company. And then I was like, why? So I saw the guy calling the uh, making the call from his uh, car. And then it wasn't it was not taxi company. It was a car called Claudio. He said the Claudio is a is be, is a taxi manager. Blah blah blah. I said okay, no problem. And then after like thirty minutes, it was raining. Under the rain, I saw the taxi man pull up. So so when taxi man pull up, but they 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 were just looking irritated about me. Like they were just picking their letter, and then they told me to enter this taxi car. They would take me to where I'm going to. Stupid me now. I entered the taxi car because this time I it, I was cold. It was raining. I don't know what to do, so I just entered the taxi car. The moment I entered, like the taxi just went full speed, like it was just speeding. It didn't even ask me where I'm going to. It didn't even care. It just started speeding, like really fast. I started screaming on inside the car. I was screaming like, where are you taking me to? You don't even know where I'm going to. You didn't even ask me. You are just driving. Where are you taking me to? Like I was screaming when I saw this man would not stop. When I mean we were, the man was speeding like speed. He was just I don't know what he was where he was going to in the hurry. He was speeding. So I took my phone again, started pretending, I started uh, like calling said I was calling the police. I was pretending I was talking to the police on the phone. So when the man heard he just like hold his brake. When this man hold the brake, eh? Me, I almost flew out of the car. So when he was like, what, what? Eh, okay, yeah, now tell me where you are going to. That was when I went, you don't even know where I'm going to, and here you are just going fast like this. He was like, oh yeah, tell me now, tell me now. So I told the man where I was going to. And the man finally turned around and took me to where I was going to. When we got there, this man refused to go. I, like, I paid him everything. I said, child, this man refused to go. He just stopped. I said, what are you still doing? Go now. He said, yeah, he wants to stay here and deliver me safely. He doesn't want problem. Oh, like, I'm already here. You go. He was not asking, who am I yet to see? Is he my uh, brother, my boyfriend? I was like, what is your problem? I said, you go. Like my girlfriend finally came downstairs. I went with my girlfriend and my girlfriend upstairs. This man was downstairs almost 10 minutes washing, waiting. I don't know, he was washing me. I don't know what he was doing. Like when I finally got upstairs, I was I was scared. If it's I was my hand was trembling, I was scared. I went to the bathroom, I was crying because now I was already scared about to deliver this bad message to my girlfriend. And then I almost died at the process. Like oh, this was the worst experience of my life. So please. This is not the first time that these people were, um, has done this thing because it was all planned up. When I mean planned up, I don't know if these are the trick people. I don't know how many people they are tricked. So in case if you are a girl, you live in Trento, please check this video. Even if you are a boy, check this video. This video might, might save your life. Many, many, many people might have been a victim of this man and they are scared to speak up. Please check this video so it will get to as many people as possible. So that in case if you live in Trento, I have the plate number. I can send you the plate number. I can't post it. I don't know so that I don't get into problem. I have the plate number because I was able to cram the plate num number of this guy. He, jo he normally work in Trento train station. Please, if you know if you if you live in Trento, Verona, uh, Trento, Italy, please be careful. Even if it's not Trento, even Italy, anywhere around the world. Please be careful because these taxis, most of them are predators. Most of them are evil. They are just pretending to be taxi 